want to share another project with you. Um, I was asked to make a little mini album for um, a friend of mine who's other friend is going to be a new grandma so she was having a baby boy so she asked if I could make a little mini album for a baby boy for a baby shower gift so this is what I came up with it actually is a paper bag album but um, I kind of altered it a little bit the paper that I used in this is from die cuts with the view the um, baby boy stack and it's darling it's got all the greens and blues and browns and it's really cute so that's what I used, and I got that at Michael's. So for the front cover, um, I cut the word boy from the stick, um, from one of the papers. It's all glittery, and it has some varnish on it. And then I cut this little tag that says beautiful, and was actually had some journaling lines on it, but I trimmed around it. So it says beautiful baby boy, and I made my little tile letters. Um, there's one of the papers that has a bunch of alphabet letters on it, and so I just cut out words and then glued them to the back of these Tim Holtz fragments and um, adhered those to the front cover. Added some blue trim here and it's a chipboard cover so you open it up and here is the inside cover. Um, I have a little pocket page here and then I made a little tag that says this was actually one of the um, there's a tag sheet you can cut out a bunch of tags um, off of the paper and it says born on the weight and length so they can put all that information there and then they can journal on the back so that goes in there and um, I use the regular celebrated bags the regular lunch size that you can get at Michaels but I trimmed them down so they're about five and a half inches so I want it to be a little more compact um, so for this page I added some um, ribbon here for a little belly band and then I made a little um, fold out here again this little tag this is peekaboo is from the um, paper and um, place for two little small photos go in there and then I have a place for photo here and then this is also a pocket with another tag and it says a baby story and it has a little fish down there so that's pretty cute and then um, for this I went ahead and adhered the sides of my paper bags, the gusset part. I glued them together so they wouldn't be real uh, deep. And here's my tags. They're white on one side and then blue on the other. On this particular one. And I inked all my edges with um, the Tim Holtz Distress Ink Gathered Tweaks. So you flip the page over and then... I made a little, um, I cut this little piece of trim off of one of the, um, the pages. I added some twine with a button around here, and I made a large photo mat here, and I stuck this little um, tag right here. Over here, I added some more ribbon trim, and um, I made a little fold out. This is cute and cuddly, and that opens up for place for two little photos here. And then inside this one is the photo mat as well. It's got the little animals on it. And this paper is really cute. It's got the blues and the browns and the greens. And lots of glitter. So that goes back in there. And then on this page, um, again, another tag from the tag sheet. And it says love. And I went ahead and um, tied some little ribbon around here and added a button for the O with some twine in it. And I added a photo mat here, and this, um, the word love is, is open, so they can stick the photo back there. And then I cut this little turtle out with a, little turtle out with a circle punch, and then put it up on some um, Pop Dots dimensionals. On this page, I added three little buttons, um, and then I made a little fold out. It says, a smile so sweet, and again, that's from the tag sheet that came, comes with the paper pad. And it opens up like this, so there's a place for two photos there and two photos two photos here so it just goes back there and here is another photo mat and journaling spot and this page I have six paper bags in this particular mini album I had three little buttons down the bottom I fussy cut a little elephant out of the paper and put a photo mat here and made it a pocket it says sweet baby and I put a little ribbon pull at the top and a little photo mat on the back so that goes back in there. 
And over here, another tag from the tag sheet that says apple of my eye. And I just used my little Tim Holtz tiny attacher and attached some little ribbon to the back. Put a photo mat here. And again, this is um, open right here so I can slide the photo under. And here's another photo mat. And on this side, we have a couple of buttons with some twine. Again, I added another little um, tag from the tag sheet. It says ABC. And again, I left it open so they can put the um, photo in there. And then on this photo mat, again, I made it a pocket as well. And there's another little um, tag. I stapled my little ribbon on and then I covered my staple up with a piece of design paper. And over here, this was actually um, a 12 by 12 sheet that was this cream color on the inside. It had a turtle here, but I really liked the turtle, so I just went ahead and cut it out and used it more as sort of decoration instead of, I mean, you could put a photo, little photo here if you wanted to, but um, in order to not lose the space for a photo, I did make it actually, made it a pocket. Um, so you can use this for the photo mat and photo mat. So you get two places for large photos there. And that just goes behind here. And I added a little um, piece of cardstock that I cut with my edge punch, EK Success scallop punch right there. And added that to the top of the pocket. And then here's the actual pocket on the side from the paper bag. And on this side, I have a giant button that I use, I've layered on top of a scallop circle, added a couple of buttons over here, and I fussy cut this little alligator out and put it along the bottom, and again, my, um, this is open right here, so they can stick the photo in. On this side, I have another little photo mat with a couple of buttons layered on top of some little punch circles, and I put some twine in it, and again, I made this a little pocket, and this says, my first month, a little place for journaling, and a little place for a photo on the back. And here's the tag for the paper bag tag. And the last page has, um, I cut a little edge with my Martha Stewart edge punch right here, layered on top of a photo mat here. I added three little buttons on top of some ribbon. Here's another little tag from the tag sheet. It says, baby is another word for love. And I thought this one was really cute, the three little tickets. It says, cute, sweet, and little. Again, a spot on the back. And this one says Sweet Pea, and then there's a place for a photo on the back. And they can also put a photo here. So then on the inside back cover, um, I used a little tiny coin envelope, a real small one. And um, this is another little tag from the tag sheet. I cut it out, and it says Precious. And I tucked this right underneath there, the little cover. And I put a little button here. And then inside is... A little tag, if I can get it out. I have no fingers left. My nails are shot. There we go. It says love bug. So that goes back in that little envelope there. And she can put some other things in there if she wants. But anyway, there you have it. And that's the back cover. And there's the spine. So that's my little mini album. I really like the size of it. Um, I liked cutting the bags down to make it smaller. Um, it worked out really well for this particular size. So there's my baby boy mini album using paper bags. And thanks everybody. Leave me a comment. Bye.